There is something undeniably special about the city of Sedona. Placed in the northern heart of Arizona, it is regarded with reverence by those who practice New Age beliefs and worshipped as a holy land by the Native American tribes who have lived here for hundreds, even thousands of years. It is home to a mere 11,000 people, and yet every year, nearly four million visitors from across the globe trek to this sleepy southwestern city. What is it about this place that draws so many? Do they come to explore its geological wonders, to experience its energy, or to uncover a deeper human truth? I'm Damon Redford. I'm traveling the world exploring sacred locations in the hope of unlocking some profound spiritual theories. I've come to Sedona to uncover the secret behind its mystical appeal. If there is real magic hidden amidst this majestic sandstone, I'm ready to be enchanted. Sedona is located in northern Arizona at the center of the state's Red Rock County. It is halfway between Phoenix and the Grand Canyon, at approximately five hours from Las Vegas, Nevada, an entirely different kind of spiritual destination. A Carl Schneebly opened Sedona's first post office in 1902. The city was originally to be called Schneebly Hill. Fortunately, it was decided that it should share his wife's name instead, Sedona, a wise choice. The city sits at an impressive altitude of 4,500 feet and has envious weather year-round, escaping both the extreme heat of the deserts to the south and the snows of the northern Sierras. Visually, Sedona is stunning, its red sandstone formations bathed in the bright sun. This surreal scenery captures the eyes, the heart and the breath of all who tread its dusty landscape. In order to fully understand what makes tourists and spiritualists flock to this place, I'll explore the energy, the stories, and the strange theories connected to this city. I'll travel to Sedona's most fascinating sites, and I'll journey to Monument Valley in Utah to meet the Native Americans who are connected with its past. Finally, I'll return to Sedona to visit the Hopi, who are considered one of the most spiritual indigenous tribes in the world. Perhaps they hold the elusive answers explaining the lure of Sedona. Maybe I'll discover why so many people find fulfillment here, and perhaps borrow a little for myself.